everyone. I have a story today called Over and Under the Snow by Kate Messner and the pictures I are by Christopher Neal. Over the snow I glide into the woods frosted fresh and white. Over the snow a flash of fur a red squirrel disappears down a crack. Where did he go? Under the snow, Dad says. Under the snow is a whole secret kingdom where the smallest forest animals stay safe and warm. You're skiing over them now. Over the snow I glide past beech trees rattling leftover leaves and strong, silent pines that stretch to the sky. On a high branch, a great horned owl keeps watch. Under the snow, a tiny shrew dodges columns of ice. It follows a cool tunnel along the moss out of sight. Look, Dad says, tracks. Tracks always tell a story. Over the snow, a deer has crossed our path. Deep hoof prints punch through the crust, up the hill, under a tree. An oval of melted snow tells the story of a good night's sleep. Under the snow, deer mice doze. They huddle up, cuddle against the cold in a nest of feathers and fur. There they are. Over the snow, I climb, digging in my edges so I don't slide back down. Under the snow, voles scratch through slippery tunnels, searching for morsels from summer feasts. Over the snow, I swoosh. Down, down, faster, faster. Down, faster, faster. Whoops. Under the snow, a snowshoe hare watches from the shelter of a spruce. Almost invisible, she smooths her fur, a coat of winter white. Over the snow I glide, past reeds where tadpoles play tag in the springtime. Under the snow, fat bullfrogs snooze. They dream of sun warm days back when they had tails. Over the snow, I stand and stare, little mountains in the marsh. Under the snow, beavers gnaw on aspen bark settled in for supper. Can they hear my tummy rumbling too? Over the snow, stop, a sound. We stand like statues carved in ice till a bushy-tailed fox steps from a thicket, tips his ear to the ground, listens, listens, listens still, and leaps onto the snow after an invisible dinner. His paws scratch away to find the mouse he heard, scritch, scritch, scritching underneath, under the snow. Over the snow I glide, a full moon lights my path to supper. Under the snow, a chipmunk wakes for a meal. Bedroom, kitchen, hallway, his house under my feet. Over the snow, I climb one last hill. Bonfire smoke rises. Warm hands, hot cocoa, hot dogs sizzling on pointed sticks. Under the snow, a black bear snores still full of October blueberries and trout. Over the snow, the fire crackles and sparks shoot up to the stars. I lick sticky marshmallow from my lips and lean back with heavy eyes. Shadows dance in the flames. Under the snow, a queen bumblebee drowses away December all alone. She'll rule a new colony in the spring. Over the snow, I glide home on tired legs, 
clouds whispered down feathery soft flakes. Under the covers, I snuggled deep and drift into dreams. Cuddling deer mice and slumbering frogs, hungry beavers and tunneling voles, drowsy bears and busy squirrels, and the secret kingdom under the snow. The end. Now another reason I like this book is because after the story, they have information about each of the animals that we heard about in the story. So you can read about red squirrels and shrews and deer mice, and all kinds of animals that we heard about in the story. I have a song for us. It's to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, so you know that tune already. And it's about snowflakes. It goes like this. Snowflake, snowflake in the sky, love to watch you floating by. Down you fall without a sound, down you fall upon the ground. Snowflake, snowflake in the sky, love to watch you floating by. Thanks for watching.